there are four top reasons why people sell their home. Stay on and watch. If you find this content valuable, you want to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you don't miss future videos. So in this volatile market that we're in, people are still selling their home. Yes, there are less sellers. As you can see, the reflection of it is that we don't see a lot of homes on the market. The transaction numbers have decreased in the past few months because there's just not a lot of homes on the market and in inventory. However, there are still four very important reasons why people are still selling their home. Reason number one, financial reasons. Buying a home is not not just a 30-year mortgage that you're looking at. There are miscellaneous expenses that comes with it, like the property taxes, the deferred maintenance. So if you buy an, an older home, there may be work that needs to be done that you didn't plan for. All of those things become financial reasons why people have to sell. Maybe it's um, a loss of a job. It could be something that affect the affordability of that family where they have to sell. Reason number two, inheritance. You may end up inheriting the home and as, as an asset, you know, and it, it, the process could take a while, especially if it's a probate situation where there's a court involved or there's a, an attorney involved. I know that as um, our team have served multiple families, probably in the past five years with various uh, degree of probate situations, some of them require court's approval, some of them don't. But all of that, you know, when you're inheriting a property, you don't necessarily want to live in it, especially if it's an out of state property and you're the seller, you're the executor, you're the administrator of that uh, probate or that trust and you have to sell it. Well, the, the sale of the house becomes um, a transfer so that you can benefit from the financial gain once the property sells. The process is a little bit more complicated uh, as we have served those families. Our clients are not necessarily attached to the property, but they don't know how to do it, especially if they live far away. So this is where we come in as the problem solvers and help bring the process together, especially when the seller, the legal seller, has inherited the property. Reason number three, divorce. Basically, you know, this have been the home. This has been the home that they have raised their kids in or have, you know, spent years. And now the couple is parting, right? They're, they're going through a divorce or they're, they're had already just divorced. Interestingly enough, I have been named in several divorce decrees to be, you know, the one person that the husband and the wife have agreed on to be their uh, assigned real estate agent representing the sale of the property. So the divorce situation, you know, it, it all varies. There are a lot of intricacies involved. Uh, there are decisions that are made because of the divorce situation. Sometimes they don't, decisions are not made together in the same room. So this is where your real estate agent, in, in this case, you know, in my experience, we, we have come in and basically have separate conversations with the divorce couple and uh, work through the kinks and the process of walking through the process and all of that. So that could take a little bit of time as well because what I found uh, in my experience is that when it's in a divorce situation, it takes a little bit longer for the property to be ready because one spouse may be, or you know, one partner may be living there and the other partner may have moved out. So there's more communication that needs to take place before the property is ready to go on the market. Reason number four, lifestyle, or I call it life events. For example, the family no longer needs to live in that large home because they're retiring. They're now empty nesters. So the home that used to house, you know, two parents and four kids or three kids now is just the two parents and they're downsizing. So if they're downsizing, they no longer live, need to live in that huge house and they can sell it. And, you know, if things work out well, they have um, accumulated a sizable amount of equity where they can perhaps buy a smaller home all cash or you know the majority of it is not going to need to be financed 
because they have a large down payment and you know we've seen that with 60 70 80 percent down which is not bad at all right so it's a great situation for the seller because they know that their their equity is going to take care of their replacement home that they're moving to another reason maybe is a job relocation right and we see a lot of that where because they're being relocated the company may be subsidizing the relocation if it's the same company that they're moving to another location with they then have the ability to to be able to put their house on the market while they're looking for a replacement home in another city or another state job relocation is a big piece the last one would be uh, when you're you've grown out of your home you know you may be starting out as a family of two or family two with a baby and now years later you have four kids you no longer can fit into a two bedroom one bath house and you need a larger house so the need of having to buy a larger home requires that family that that family that has grown to sell their smaller home. And those are the main four reasons why people are selling. So yes, it's a challenging market right now because the main driver, the main challenge right now is the high interest rate. It does not, however, deter people who have life events, have these four reasons that I mentioned that would still sell their home. And because of that, we still have buyers in the wings looking to purchase a home. As a matter of fact, Bart and I are hosting a home sellers seminar that's scheduled for Saturday, September the 23rd, that is coming up. Uh, more information, you can click on the video here um, to learn more and reserve your seat. RSVP is required. It'll be a fun and light nature seminar, but our goal is to equip you so that you can walk away feeling clear about the decision you need to make and how to sell, whether to sell, and how to get started in the process. We look forward to seeing you. Make sure you RSVP. Seats are limited and lunch will be served. Thanks for watching.